Hey everybody, today on Arana Runs Through, I'm playing Heading Forward. But before we get going, please turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel for any rules goofs. And welcome, friends. Here we are on our day one of our rehabilitation. We have suffered a traumatic in a brain injury, and it's up to us to complete skills in different areas before the uh, time runs out that our insurance has allotted us. Uh, they've given us. So we're playing on the medium level, which is 12 rounds, so you also have the easy and the hard so depending on how your insurance um takes care of you that's how many days you're gonna have that's uh equal number of rounds so 12 11 10 etc on this calendar we have resources so we start with one spoon a uh, spoon is our emotional and physical energy to complete tasks because what we're going to be doing is completing tasks via uh, hand management and resource management. So I'm going to jump right into it um, and we're going to draw cards and try to uh, complete tasks uh, in our rehab here. You'll see the four different areas. Uh, we have uh, financial, cognitive, endurance, and adaptability. We're going to be trying to complete uh, at least three different skills in three different areas. So what we do is we're going to draw cards. Now, we draw cards according to our cognitive um, ability, which is represented by the brain here. Uh, so at this point, we can draw three cards, and those are the tasks you do on a daily basis. So I'm going to draw three. Now, you notice the cards, they have um, this uh, uh, head here, or fit, um, profile. You're going to keep the orientation uh, the way um, you have to pay attention to the orientation. It's very important. So I'll discuss that as we go. So I've drawn my three cards. And what you're going to do on your turn, you're going to uh, play cards, uh, uh, use resources to play them, and you will uh, um, achieve things. And those achievements will allow you to upgrade your cards or improve your skills, so to speak. So you notice here on uh, this card here, uh, socialize. Um, Put it up here. The green screen's catching a little bit of the green here. So, but basically, what we need to know is this is the resource it gives, and this is what you would need to expend in order to achieve. So, if I expend a spoon and a time, uh, I will be able to achieve. Uh, in this case, all level ones you achieve, you're just going to turn them around to level two. Okay. So, let's uh, do that. Um, so, I'm going to, well, not, actually, let me back up here. Each of these has different goals so socialization you know planning attention and i am trying to improve uh these skills up to a level four and you'll notice these cards here these are not in the deck all of these here are level ones and twos as you complete these so as you achieve you're going to rotate to level two and then when i get to level two i need to spend a spoon and a time it'll give me a spoon and then i have to spend another spoon to progress it progressing means i take this level two out uh, socialization and I bring the level three in so this will be out of the game replaced by a level three and eventually you'll take the level threes turn it over to level four by expending you know in this case um, a spoon and then you go here to progress it and to complete it it's a whole nother set of resources you have to complete in this case if I had gotten a level four deficit awareness um, I have been able to complete that skill. That means I place this out of the game. That's one of three skills in one, uh, three of the different, or four, there's four different categories. You got to do three of them. So not there yet, but that's the long-term goal. So what I want to do in this case, in this turn, I'm going to improve my socialization. I, you know, it's a traumatic brain injury. You have to relearn how to do a lot of things. And this is a solo game, folks. And I think this plays so well into the theme, right? You are there. I mean, you have help. You have your resources, you have the hospital, you have the insurance, you have your friends and family, but when it comes down to it, you are the one that's trying to uh, improve your health and improve and try to uh, overcome this brain injury. So one of the things I need to learn, relearn is how to socialize. So I'm going to spend a spoon, goes from unused to used, and I'm going to use a resource, in this case time. So I look at the other cards in my hand, they both have the time token, so I'm going to discard one which means I've expent this, so I achieved this, I progressed my level two uh, socialization, so this is level two. So now I discard that, and then this one I cannot play because I don't have any more spoons and I don't have any more resources, I've already spent them, so this just goes in my discard. Now, as we continue the game, when we start the next round, remember these the orientation of the cards are very important, they have to stay like that because I have a level two socialization and level ones on attention and planning. And that goes to discard. That'll be there. So that is um, the end of the turn. Um, you're going to continue. Uh, so now um, to reset, you're just going to refresh spoons. And then you're going to draw up to your capacity. So again, cognitive ability, I've got three. 
one, two, three. And then I'm going to play cards and discard cards. So let's see what I'm going to play next. I have chores, I have memory, and I have cooking. Again, all skills you're going to have to relearn to do after suff suffering a traumatic uh, brain injury. Um, just a fun fact, this is a this game by John Dubois. He actually suffered a traumatic brain injury. That was the inspiration for him to create this game. Okay, let's see. So in this case... I've got socialization that's going to allow me, um, I, you know, I'm looking through my discard. That's, helped me, uh, that's going to help me in a future round get another spoon. Uh, here's another one here. If I get this, I'm going to get another spoon. Uh, this one, it would improve my cognitive uh, ability. That'll get me more, I'll be able to draw more cards. And this one, I'll be able to, um, when I, if I get to level two and I achieve that, I'm going to be able to get money. So these are the resources of the game. You have time, you have care, the hearts. You have spoons, that's your physical and emotional energy. And then you have money. We all know everything costs money, folks. So why don't I do this? I'm going to get go to, um, let's get some more spoons. Uh, spoons, I, I think, are really important in this game. So I'm going to improve my chores. Uh, so I'm going to spend a spoon and a time. And then that goes there. And then I have memory left, and I cannot improve that. So, uh, because I have no more spoons, I have no more uh, resources. So that just goes in my discard pile. That's the end of that turn. I reset everything, and then I draw three. One, two, three, because that's how many I have up here. And um, continue on here. Let's see what we can do, do now. Um, we have budget, generalize, and hobby. So budget is going to be important because that has the money, right? So things cost money. Uh, you know, we all know health insurance isn't uh, free and or cheap, at least here in the U.S. Um, again, another thing I love about this game, it is a commentary on the U.S. healthcare system. So why don't we play budgets to get some money? So I'm going to spend a spoon and a time. Time is money, right? So now we're going to be able to improve the skill to level two. And next time when I expend a spoon in uh, time, <clears throat> I'm going to be able to increase my money, gain of money, which will be over here. These are the resources here that we'll be um, in, um, adding to our stuff. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, I don't have this, so that's going to get um, discarded. I'm uh, going to draw the next three. One, two, three. And uh-oh, we've got the trigger. So what that means, you'll notice... I have the four different areas here. I didn't explain this one here. What this is, I've taken out the driving card. Okay, so let me show this on screen. The driving. Uh, so I have not only the level one, but also level four. So these, at the start of the game, on setup, what you're going to do is take randomly choose one card, which I did before um, I came on screen here. R randomly choose one. That's going to be your trigger. Okay, so in this case, for instance, my traumatic brain injury has been caused by probably a car accident. So anytime this card comes up, you will never be able to get rid of the trigger. That's going to trigger uh, some kind of memory, uh, you know, the bad times that led to your injury. And then you have to do this first. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, if this card is in your hand, do the following in order. Um, and then you just go through the uh, steps. Um, so if another skill, nope, I just drew it. So number two, complete the trigger skills, expend requirements. Um, so the trigger is here. So I need to spend one spoon. Whoops, I forgot to reset my spoon. One spoon and one care, the heart. Okay, so I do have that in my hand. I have, um, actually I have two of them here. So I have the education rest. I will discard that. So I've spent that. The next one, so if I could not have done that, I would have just ended my turn. I had to discard my cards and go on. But I have done that, so now I can complete the trigger skills achieve step, but do not gain any spoons, um, uh, a cognitive ability, or money. So by completing the expand here, I would need, um, let's see. Oh, I achieved this. So I have expanded this, and then I achieve it. So now my trigger is at level two. So next time it comes up, you can never get rid of the trigger card. So it's going to, when it comes back up, I'm next time I'm going to have to spend either a care or um, a, a time. So that goes there. And by the achieve thing, you never get those rewards. It's a trigger, folks. So that just goes there. So now, at least I'm taking care of that. That goes to my discard pile. Unfortunately, I don't have any resources to do this. So this just gets discarded. And then we start a new turn. Uh, we reset here, draw three more, and then we continue. Uh, what are we going to improve skill-wise next? Family, you know, relationships with family, very important. Uh, deficit awareness or your health. 
So well, one thing I, I, I should point out, which I, I think is really neat, as you're improving each uh, skill, as you turn around, you'll notice it starts off as very, like a very sketch-like, like very, you know, shaky, right? So here's your family that has the hand. It eventually becomes a little more, well, uh, more neatly drawn, I guess is the way, it's a little more clear. And eventually level three and then level four when you complete it, it's very detailed right so it's really neat progression as you see that same with uh health you know you have your book and then eventually level two and then you get to level three and then level four where it's an actual like card cover book really really interesting um neat way they did that okay so we got family health deficit awareness um as you can see here if i improve my family next time i um i can draw two cards which is always nice this one here, if I improve this, I'll draw the place my top three disc cards at the bottom of the deck. So that gives me, I can cycle through the cards a little faster. This one here, health, if I get to level two and I achieve it there, I will be able to draw more cards, which is always a good thing. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to improve. Well, let's see what I can play. I have a spoon, and then uh, this one requires a care. This Okay, they all require care. Okay, uh, why don't we do family? Uh, I'm a big family guy, so I'm going to expand a spoon and use uh use a heart a care okay and that means i can level this one up to stage two family okay this one can't do anything with it, so i discard go here and then we draw cards again three because of where we're at on the cognitive ability but check this out i've only drawn two that means it's the end of the round friends so at uh, the end of the round let's take a look at what we do Okay, end of the round, what we do is shuffle the discards, and oh, first we should move this, so that's one day into our rehab, we're going to shuffle these cards, again, remember, keep the orientation the way it is, you can shuffle like this, I'm just going to do this, this type of shuffle here, okay, okay, keeping the orientation, okay, and then draw cards and continue the round as normal. Okay, so I've got uh, one, two, I'm still drawing three, so I'm drawing three. Okay, so now I can improve um, some skills here. So this one gives me, okay, let's get some money going here. I think we had, we had improved one money. Why don't we get another money? Or this one here will draw us cards. Okay, we're going to do that. So I'm going to spend a spoon, and then this one requires a care. So I'm going to spend the care. So this memory, my memory's improving just a little bit which i would wish would happen in real life because I, I need it but anyways uh discard that reset next turn one two three okay now we know this is a level two let's see if we can improve that one okay so level two budget now here's the thing this is what's really interesting about this game if i decided to improve a different one for instance Let's say I want to improve my hobby. I miss playing board games, so I want to increase this. So I would, uh, this is just an example. I would spend the spoon and then I would spend the time. Okay, so this would be a level two, right? That means I would have nothing left over for this budget. And anytime you have to discard a level two or higher, that skill's gonna atrophy. So that's gonna go back to level one and then you discard it. So it's a really neat balancing act of trying to improve skills while maintaining your other skills. So I don't want this to atrophy just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play budget. I'm gonna expand my one spoon. I'm gonna spend a time, generalize, and that's gonna allow me to achieve that. So I get a dollar, okay, so money. So I'll put that on this side. Oh, actually I'll put it over here. So I've got money, I've got one spoon. Now to progress it, at the same turn, I would have to spend another spoon, another time, another money. But we don't have that yet. But thankfully, um, because I've expanded it, I will not have to atrophy my budget. So I'm learning. I, I'm improved. You know, I'm learning how to manage my um, budget. Uh, the hobby, I don't have anything to do. So uh, I don't have a spoon left over. So that just goes in the discard. Whoops. And then we reset and continue with the next turn. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see what that is. And we know that's uh, some improved skills coming up. Really important to keep the uh, orientation the way it is, folks. Okay, so attention, deficit awareness, and rest. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick look at what we achieve here. This is place top three discards at the bottom of the deck. This is remove one card from hand. Oh, remove one card from hand from the game. Now this is um, this you would think it would if you had the trigger you could do that. No, uh, you never you could never take out the trigger. So this one the exception. 
Um, oh, I like this card, Rest. So if I expend a spoon, I can um, I can achieve this where I get a spoon back to do something else. That's always nice. Okay, so again, these were all level ones. I was just looking at what I get if I achieve this. So I'm going to Rest. We're going to expend here, expend a spoon, expend a time. Either one is fine. And that means we get to achieve, which is go to the next level, level two. So next time we do that, we'll be able to do that. Uh, this one's a level one. I can't do it. So it just goes there. We reset. And then now we're getting to our level twos here. Let's go draw one, two, and three. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. One of these is going to atrophy. I, I, I don't have it. Well, let's see. Let, let me, let, maybe, maybe we don't. Yeah, we're, one's going to atrophy, I believe. Okay. So socialization, that's going to get me another spoon. I really want to do that. So what I'm going to do is improve my socialization uh, by spending, expending a spoon and a time. Okay. Oh, maybe. Okay, here's, here's another thing we can do. In order to avoid... Um, in order to avoid atrophine, I could play family and expend this heart here. So family requires me to expend a heart, and I could expend this one. So anytime you discard, um, well, not discard, anytime you use a level 2 resource, you just put in the discard pile, but you do not atrophy it. It's only when you expend, or when you have to discard it at the end of a turn, if you haven't used it for anything, that's when it atrophies. So this is an interesting choice. This will allow me to extend my uh, um, round a little longer by getting grabbing two cards. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I can draw two cards here. Okay, that's cool. But then I only have one spoon. I, I'm really trying to get more spoons. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance. I'm going to improve my socialization at the cost of my family, unfortunately. And that, that's, that's brutal. So I'm going to expand my one spoon. I'm going to spend the time, expend the time. So I get a spoon. So I'm going to add a spoon here, but then I have to expend it. So it's going to go right here. So that, and then if I could get another spoon, I could get this level three, but I can't. So that's been done. Unfortunately, now I have to discard this. So from level two, I have regressed in my rehab. So this is going to go to a level one. Okay, that's a bummer. But hey, at least I know that now I have extra spoons because now I reset. Now I have two spoons, and hopefully that will allow me to do more action. So one, two, three. Uh, I knew that was coming. You, you could, you know, you just knew it was happening. So trigger again. My trigger is driving. You know, maybe I was out and I, you know, I was in a taking an Uber or a Lyft, and that just triggered my memory of my auto, you know, my brain injury. So now I have to complete the triggers uh, expend requirements. So now we have to spend either um, a time or care, and thankfully we have both. Um, so I am going to ex uh, expand the heart here. Okay. So then, um, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, why don't we do this? So I didn't have to spend a spoon. Now, when you do the traumatic brain injury, you do not achieve anything. But if you want to progress it, you'd have to do this. So what I can do is expand. Yeah. Okay, expand a spoon. And then uh, spend the money. So now this level two is a level three. And I just um, turn this over here. Okay, so that's the trigger. Okay. And this card here, I have a spoon to spend, but I do have not have any more resources. That's just going to go there. I reset and I draw three. One, two. And it is the end of day two of my rehab. So end of the round, I'm going to move this over to here. Again, you just follow the numbers here. 12, 11, 10. Uh, I'm going to keep the orientation of the cards, but shuffle. Okay, I reset my spoons. We're good there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and continue the shuffle. Okay, and then we draw up to the required number. That's three, and we're going to continue here. Okay, one. Okay, so now we've got two spoons. Let's see what we can do here. Got two spoons. Um, okay, chores, health, shopping. Um, okay, let's improve our health. So I'm going to spend, expend one spoon and then one heart or one care. That's going to allow me to achieve my health. And then if I can do this uh, next time, I can expend a spoon and a heart and I'll get um, my 
uh, brain. This will move up to four. So I'll be drawing four cards a turn, which is nice. Okay, so that's already done. Now I do have a spoon, but I don't have any more resources. So that just goes away. We reset and draw three more. And then, oh, early on we've triggered. So again, traumatic brain injury. Um, we were driving. So now we have to expand um, the thing here to level. So unfortunately, we can't. So it says here to expend money. We spent it. We expended it last time. We cannot do it. So what happens is your turn is immediately over. So I cannot do anything with this. Um, they just go in the pile. And then this is going to um, atrophy down to level two. Okay, so that has atrophied. We start a new turn. One, two, three. Okay, we, I see some level twos coming up here. So this is going to be interesting. How can we do this? Okay. Okay. Um, mm. Oh, boy. Spoons. Man, how are we going to do this? So something's going to get atrophied, unfortunately. No, okay, why don't we do this? I'm going to continue on my path to social socialization. I'm going to keep improving that. I'm going to play this. So expend a spoon, expend a time. Okay, so I achieve that. So I get a spoon, but then I have to expend a spoon. Now to progress this up to level three, I am going to expand another spoon, which I just happen to have here. So now this level two socialization becomes a level three. So I'm going to get rid of this. It's going to go about, um, over here. And now I'm at level three. So from now on, if I can expend a spoon and two times, I will uh, just gain another spoon. Very nice. So that's at level three. Again, the object of the game is to get these to level four and then complete it and do three of those, um, one, two, three, from di three different areas. Okay. Unfortunately, this I do not don't have anything to do. So my rest, I need to get my rest. And unfortunately, I did this uh, round of uh, therapy. So I'm going to atrophy that. That's going to go there. Okay, next turn, um, I'm resetting my spoons. And I'm going to draw three cards here. One, two, three. Again, keeping in mind the orientation of the cards. So I've got budget, uh, education, and hobby. So the budget is nice because I'll be able to uh, get some money. And why don't we do that? Okay. So let me just check. We are on level three of socialization. That is the endurance. Okay. Uh, can we, if this is a budget, this is the financial. So that's two of the three. So maybe we should focus on that. So why don't we do this? I'm going to expand one spoon and then one time. Oh, I can't. Oh, look at that. I don't have any time. The only time I have is actually on the card I want to um, level up on. So I'm going to have to think of something else to do here um we're okay why don't we work on your education education is very important so <clears throat> expend a spoon expend a time now remember if i would have just discarded this that's where it atrophies but i'm using it for the time it will it will not atrophy it goes here and allows me to achieve this which is improve the skill education that goes there and this means i i can i have the spoons to spend now but i don't have the time so that just goes on my discard we reset there and we continue one two three <clears throat> excuse me um ooh, memory okay let's improve our memory can we do it yes we can all right so i'm going to expend a spoon expend a heart or a care that allows me to achieve this so my cognitive ability slowly but surely my imp memory is improving now we get four cards drawn per turn. I could progress this if I had a dollar right here. I could have spent a dollar to get this to level three, but I'm not gonna, I don't have that. Uh, this one, unfortunately, will not be able to do that this turn. And then we're drawing four now, and then we have two cards. So I think that's a good place to stop, folks. What I would do, I would just, you know, again, just reshuffle these and continue. Uh, but that'll do it for now. Um, if you'd like to hear my final thoughts, please click on the eye in the top right corner or the show notes below. Or you can hang out for five, four, three, two, one.